Alright guys, welcome to part two of the light burst effect Photoshop tutorial. Where we left off is um, we had just brightened up the image and uh, rotated it counterclockwise 90 degrees. So next thing we've got to do is uh, we're pretty much just going to add the polar coordinates filter again, but we're going to do it a little differently this time. So with your light burst copy uh, selected, go to filter, distort, polar coordinates. Now if we set it to polar to rectangular again, it'll look very weird. All right, And um, we don't want that. If we do rectangular to, uh, rectangular to polar and press OK, now we can see where that burst effect is coming from. But we're not done yet. Uh, it's going to look a lot better when we're done. The next thing we got to do is we're going to go ahead and set the blend mode to screen. So you go over here to our layers palette and you'll see um, this drop down menu here and it says normal. The blending mo This is the uh, blending mode drop down menu. You're going to go all the way down here to screen and do screen. That'll um, show our uh, light burst uh, original underneath it. So now we're going to go ahead and add some color. So we're going to go down here to our adjustment layer icon and choose gradient. And then um, up here where it says click to edit the gradient, first thing we want to do is click this one right here, black to white. This ensures that our opacity is at 100. Then we're going to sel select this one, foreground to background. And um, to change the colors, unless you want it black and white, but that wouldn't look very good, I'm going to go ahead on this these two bottom color stops and change them. So double click on it to open it up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just do blue and red for the sake of this tutorial. So, okay. And we're going to go ahead and click, click blue and do blue. Okay. So now you see it's uh, blue and red. So press OK. And now we have our gradient fill. And I accidentally just closed it out. So let's see if I can do the, that again really quickly. So now, again, we have our um, gradient fill layer. So pretty much um, after that, we got to set our blend mode to color. So with our gradient fill layer selected, we're going to go the blend mode again, but instead of normal, we're not going to do to screen. We are going to do color. So uh, come down here to color. It's r second to last right above luminosity. And now we get this really cool blue that's almost looking pink, but that looks really nice uh, color to it. So next thing we're going to do, um, we're done with the copy layer now. So we're going to go to the original layer, make sure the original is selected. And we're going to go and add a radial blur to it. So filter, and then go to blur, and then radial blur. And we're going to want to do zoom and then best quality. Zoom, best quality, and the amount, it's going to be about 65. Um, in my opinion, 65 looks best, but um, you can vary it just about 10 in either direction, um, depending on you know what, what your style is. So I'm going to go ahead and press OK. Now this looks interesting. Um, kind of hard to read, though. So what we're going to do to make it a little easier to read is we're going to load our selection. So we're going to go back to the channels palette. And you see Alpha 1 still back down here. Remember, I told you we're going to need that. So pretty much, um, uh, I think in older versions of Photoshop, you would just right click it. But in CS6, you see this little thing comes up. And yeah, it doesn't work too well. So uh, I found out you just control click it in CS6. That loads our selection again. So we're going to go back to our layers palette. And we're going to fill it with black. So if your black is your foreground color, which it should be, um, then going to go ahead and do Alt Backspace. And if this comes up, go ahead and click your background and then your light burst again. And then do Alt Backspace. And now you see 
that that is very cool looking. It's um, a lot easier to read. And um, so yeah. Now that we have that, you press Control D, and um, it's done. Now um, you can edit this, put some text down here, up here, whatever you want to do. Um, but it's you know it's up to you what you want to do from here. Um, I mean, if you wanted to, you could. I guess you could switch it and try doing it that way. Um, never mind, don't do that. Definitely do not do that. That looks terrible. <laughs> but you can see, um, I mean, this is a really cool effect. Um, and you can show it off to all your friends, and they'll be amazed at your amazing Photoshop skills. Um, I probably made this tutorial a little longer than it should have been. But hey, I mean, anybody could do this. If you've at least played in Photoshop for five minutes and know where everything is located. I, this is one of the easiest text effects you can do. So, um, this has been Bruder from the Hyuder channel, and uh, have a nice day.